Um, so looking for jobs, um, I'd say most people that I know have gotten a job through somebody that they know. Um, and it doesn't have to be somebody that they know extremely well. It can be just one friend placing a call to another acquaintance saying, hey, you should interview this person. They're great. And, and that can be all it takes. But having as broad of a network and um, asking. Uh, sometimes we're, we're embarrassed to ask people to get us, a, get us an interview or see if there's a job posting somewhere. Just spread it far and wide and ask as many people as possible. Um, using LinkedIn is fantastic. I'm sure most of you guys are on that, but um, that's a very powerful tool. Um, I mean, eVisors is a great tool as well. You, you can chat with people about particular firms, um, get, get to advice on, on um, interviewing at those particular places, and um, even make connections that way. So, um, and as I mentioned previously, stay on top of your sector so that when you're, when you're, um, when you do get that interview, it might be the next day, it might be, oh, can you come in this afternoon? And you want to be ready. You want to be ready to um, have your top interview in that moment. So it's not about spending three days before an interview cramming to try and figure out how to sound smart. You want to actually know what you're talking about in case you do get that last minute interview. Um, having something other than school on your resume is extremely important, um, whether it's sports or you volunteered at a certain place or you um, were part of a startup with a friend of yours, or you've been working towards your CFA, or you've been, you know, you've got your, you've written your Series 7, or whatever it is in your particular industry that, um, that you've done uh, is great on a resume and something, something to talk about that makes you human to the interviewer, because that, that can go a long way. And I think that's mostly what I wanted to say. Um, I think there may be a couple questions, Christine. Yes, excellent. Thank you very much, Karen. That was fantastic. Um, so we do have a couple questions that have come in, but I encourage uh, anyone else to chat in their questions as well as we go through these. Um, one of the questions, actually a couple that were submitted in advance as well, deal with um, you know, coming out of school, you don't have a lot of experience. Uh, so I break this into two things, uh, one being if you come out of school uh, with very little experience um, and you're still looking for a job, what are mm -hmm. you know some different strategies you may try or think about you know internships or there other things that they could do um, and then also actually starting that job with uh, less experience. So first start going with uh, looking for a job when you don't have a lot of experience at a school. Well, you're in the same position as, as everybody coming out of school so um, most people don't have, some people coming out of school will have had an internship already and they, they have a leg up in that regard. Um, but graduating, you can still apply for the internships that the third years or the penultimate year students are doing. Um, particularly in finance, internships are far and above the way that people get into the industry, which is, um, which is, uh, yeah, it's probably the easiest way. If um, if you don't have any real work experience, I think the thing that you really want to impress upon people is is your knowledge of the space. Of you know, I I am very active in 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 staying on top of, of what's going on in this particular space, and I'm working towards particular designations. Especially if you're done school and you're you're not working and you're still looking for work. Um, you know, if you're going and you say I'm studying full time for my CFA, that's um, that's that's attractive to to, to people. So um, you know, keep keep busy. Don't just twiddle your thumbs and wait for uh, the job to come along. Take um, you know, if, if the job market's tough right now, I, I completely I completely understand. But I'd say you know, take take a job that you might might not be exactly what you want, but at a firm that you might be interested in because you can always move laterally once you get in. So um, something, oops, yeah. What was the second Perfect. part, um, Actually, I'm going I'm to take note of the second part right now and just um, focus on the internship part in finance. Uh, we just had a question there. 
So if you're looking um, to get into investment banking, you looked at um, you know sales and trading when you were still in school. You didn't have uh, a finance background. Um, yeah. How did that work for you? And uh, kind of any lessons that you learned? So um, I I got into finance by um, starting to work essentially as an admin assistant after my second year of my undergrad. Um, I so I, I joined the company in a administrative role uh, as a summer job and networked while I was there. Um, they invited me back to do an internship the following summer. Um, so then by the time I graduated, I had, um, I'd, I'd gone through a, a full global markets internship program and had a much better understanding of the space. So it was, it was through literally taking just a, a crappy job <laughs> as, a, you know, as an admin assistant or whatever at, at, a, at a company um, for as a summer job. Uh, that, that really got me in the door and allowed me to start learning and asking questions. So, Right. So I guess it's uh, one of the lessons from that is sometimes you have to, you know, take a job that may not, you know, that is a path to where you want to be necessarily then right. directly in there. Especially um, when you're starting. Yeah. Yeah. Excellent. That's, I mean, that's a great story. And then, I uh, another question that comes in. I uh, still kind of on the finance side. Do you think that you know it's become harder to build a career in finance than it was, let's say, ten years ago? Yes, <laughs> I think it, I think it definitely is. Um, I mean, unfortunately, in this environment, there are a lot of um, there are a lot of people who are are very um, who have a lot of experience who are without a job right now. Um, so it's tough coming in as a student up against, you know, a lot of people that are looking for those jobs that have a lot more experience. Um, you know, but the thing that younger people or fresh grads have to offer um, is uh, an untainted attitude, uh, lots of energy, willingness to work hard, um, whereas some of the people that have been in the industry for a while that have um, that have lost their jobs are not as not as full of energy and it's it's getting tough for them out there and and you know you can leverage on the fact that you're young that you're keen and that you are you know willing to work really hard 